The rubber is about to meet the road for the Levy Park Redesign Committee. After meeting for more than a year, the committee will formally present its recommendations to the Winona City Council during an informational meeting on June 16th. Committee Chairman Frank Palmer, I believes the plan will gain some traction with council members. Even though we're presenting this to council, I think they've all been made aware uh, through the documents we've provided them of what this plan really encompasses. And I, th I think and I hope that they've done their homework and looked at it. Um, and even though it looks like we're presenting this for the first time uh, to council, I think they've had some time to, to look at it. What we're really doing is putting forward recommendations. Uh, and, and we've got alternatives to a lot of different things in those recommendations. So there's things that can be pick, picked and choose from regarding the lake and the costs and those kinds of things. So, you know, hopefully, hopefully it's not a, a, a bang bang thing and hopefully, you know, they can look at it and, and make some decisions uh, on Monday night. At its last meeting Tuesday afternoon, the committee examined each word of the council presentation carefully, making sure there would be no confusion about what the committee is asking for. The recommendation to council and the direction we'd like council to take have to be extremely clear. And so we dedicated most of the meeting to grammatically putting together something that's understandable and clear uh, based on what we've done over the last year. Plans to update Levy Park were also discussed in 2007. That plan was eventually shelved. But Pomeroy believes the committee has done a good job of making sure that that does not happen with this plan. We had the study group on the levy from 2007. We incorporated a lot of their vision into our plan. The, the, what we have now is we have an actual visual look at what the park can look like. They didn't have that before. So I think it gives you the optimism to say, wow, you know, that really looks nice. I mean, I, uh, I think Cal Fremley's life, uh, wife would enjoy a beautiful area in front of the wall uh, that's landscaped appropriately where people can walk by, see that beautiful boat, and, and can be some kind of a, a vision uh, that incorporates Cal Fremley in a plaza regard. I mean, there are a lot of different things. We have some of the best promoters of music in, 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 in this area between Sam Brown and, and Eddie Hoffman and Ray Dresky, they can bring in some of the best talent in the country into this area so quickly and, and, and bring people in to enjoy some great music and, and get people involved in the community. We just had the Main Street Project a couple weekends ago that brought 1,500 people into downtown Winona, most of them young couples with kids. I think people are yearning for a park that can keep uh, the community active, and I think we have an obligation to give them that. If there is one thing working against the Levy Park Committee, it's the clock. It could take another two months to move the recommendations along into a working plan if any work is to begin next year. But a proposed 2015 city budget will be completed long before then. Because of the budget planning process, things have to move quickly. And I, you know, I, think, I don't think Council's done it before, but if we can convince them to put together a line item that we can interject some dollars into later in the budget process, so that we can, we can move along with a strategic planning session and get some accurate numbers as to what these different things may cost. So they can then look at the three items and decide whether the floodgates are a good idea or changing the landscape, uh, uh, raising the levels is a good idea and, and which ones they're willing to support and fund. Or, and, and we would of course try to help with that funding. Another question that arose at the committee's meeting was its own future if the process moves forward. We were appointed as an ad hoc committee for the mayor and our task was to bring recommendations forward to council, and I think we're doing that. Uh, it'll be up to council and the mayor to make a decision whether we move forward as the same group or whether a different group is put together to follow through with implementation of a plan. Uh, and that really would be council's decision. I think most of the people here are very energetic, they're very diverse. We've got people from engineering, from planning, from master gardening, from the arts, from, uh, from the city, from uh, 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 past city employees. And we've got a very diverse group, and I think that group is very capable of uh, moving forward in a phased-in implementation of a plan at Levy Park. After all of the work and time spent developing the vision plan for Levy Park, does Palmeroy believe this plan will be put into action? I hope so, in some regard. And, you know, uh, if, we, if we don't, I think we're losing out on a great opportunity. I think with the new bridge coming in with a 12-foot uh, pedestrian uh, bike uh, uh, route, uh, coming out from the from the great trails in Wisconsin, you're going to be bringing in people in this community, and you should have something here for them when they get here. And the Levy Park is a great way to do that. Monday night's informational meeting begins at 5 o'clock p.m. in Winona City Hall Council Chambers. The meeting is open to the public. The council will take action on the group's recommendations at its regular meeting, which will follow at 6:30.